Well, welcome again to our YouTube channel, Soaring Together. Today is a very exciting day. We're going to have a progressive meal, and I'll explain to you what that is after I roll the intro. We are Ricky and Denise. We sold everything in 2020 and hit the road to RV full time. We travel in our Freightliner M2 truck, pulling our DRV JX450 full house that hauls our 2020 Harley Triglide. We invite you to travel along with us as we are soaring together. Well, we have met some awesome folks this year here at Southern Oaks RV Resort in Aransas Pass, Texas. One of those couples, Terry and Les, will be leaving tomorrow, I believe. Today, we're getting together with them and two other couples, Ron and Kathy, and Linda and Mark, and we're gonna have a progressive meal. So you might ask, what is a progressive meal? A progressive meal is when um, you have the entire course, but you go from one house to the other. So we're gonna start out at uh, Terry and Les's place, and they're gonna serve the appetizers. Then we're gonna move along to Linda and Mark's, they're going to be serving the salad. Then we're coming here to our place. We have tri-tip on the smoker, and I'm going to make my famous cheesy mashed potatoes, and we'll have rolls. And then when we're finished here, we'll move along to Ron and Kathy's for an awesome dessert. So come along, but first, let's go check out the grill. So I put the tri-tip on at noon today, and I have let it smoke on one side for an hour on 180 degrees. Then I uh, turned it and it's been smoking for almost another hour and I have it set at 225. So I want that inside temperature to get to be about 150 to 155 for it to be medium rare in the center. So let's take a peek and see how it's doing. now you can see that it is getting a very good smoke ring here and what I did I cut the fat off and I've laid the fat on top of the meat while it's cooking and that fat will uh, drain the juices from the fat down while it's cooking and some people even like to eat the fat not me So I'm going to check and see what that inside temperature is. I have my probe and one of the pieces of meat. So right now we got that inside temperature at 133 degrees and it's only smoking at 225. So uh, give it another hour and it should be at the desired temperature of 155 in the center. So next I wanted to show you how I make my cheesy mashed potatoes. So I have my potatoes cut and I have them cubed. So I'll put them on to cook and I'll let them cook until they're good and tender. And then next, what I like to do is make the potatoes half and half. So half real potato and half instant potato. Well, it's time to get the tri-tip off the grill. So, I'm gonna get some aluminum foil. Go out and get it. So let's check out the finished product. Get the sun out of the way. It's kind of sunny here and it's harder to see it, but um, yeah, we've got the fat there. Perfect, perfect. Um, perfect piece of meat. Someone, like I said, may want the fat, so we'll go ahead and throw it in here. 
turn the smoker down and let it cycle off. And we'll take this in the house and get it all wrapped up and let it sit for about 30 minutes. And looks good. Got a good smoke ring. I wanted to show you what it looks like here in the, in the house. Got an excellent smoke ring. And gonna check the temperature one more time before I wrap it up. Let's see what we got here. Put it there in the center. Looks like about 145 for the big one, 146. And the small one is coming in at 150. So we'll have some that's a little rare in the center for those who want rare meat. And then the thinner piece um, will be for those who would rather have their meat more well done. So the tri-tip is smoked and ready for the dinner. So now we are ready to prepare our potatoes. And I have the potatoes already cooked. They're soft and they're still in the water that I cooked them in. Um, so what I do, because I like to make them half and half, I will use the Idaho instant potatoes. And I usually just estimate or guesstimate according to how much water I have left in there. So the water is still boiling hot. And so I've added the instant potatoes and now I will blend them up. Um, for traveling, I chose to bring this small hand mixer. I do have a KitchenAid mixer. I did have a KitchenAid mixer. I gave the first one to uh, my daughter-in-law, Kelly, and then I bought a new one, and when we went on the road, I gave the other one to Joseph and Shelby. Uh, of course, that's where we go when we're in Tennessee, so if I ever need my KitchenAid, I know where it's at, Joseph and Shelby. So I will blend the instant potatoes in with the cooked potatoes. Does look a little thick, but next I'm gonna add some butter and then I'll blend in some milk to cream it up there. Now I'll just add my stick of butter. Should have already had this opened, so it doesn't take so much time. Just use a knife and I'll cut the butter in chunks and let it melt some while that's melting some in the hot potatoes I'll add my salt and I like a lot of salt on my cheesy potatoes never can get them salty enough so I'll just blend that butter in let it melt while the potatoes are still pretty hot. And next I'll add the milk and just like everything else, I kind of estimate uh, as I'm mixing it. potatoes creamed to a good texture and next I'm going to add some butter and 
some cheddar cheese. And I'll just stick the butter down in the potatoes a little way. to blend some of that cheese or mash some of that cheese down inside so I just take the spoon and make some wells with it get that kind of down in there and a little more to top it off I like my potatoes cheesy and I'm gonna add just a little black pepper Cheesy cream potatoes are finished. So this is our first stop <laughs> to visit Les and Terry for appetizers. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. Okay, somebody has to be the one. Somebody's gotta be first. Mm -hmm. Plate, chips, and celery and carrots. Yep. Okay. Heavenly Father, we come before you today in prayer and thanksgiving for this little circle of friends that we've grown to know and love. We ask that you bless this evening and bless the food. Thank you in your precious name. Amen. 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 Leaving Thursday, is that right? Yeah. And where are you headed? Uh, new, new, she, new I say new brothels, but she says new brothels. So it's okay. brothels. So anyway, Texas. yeah. Texas. Right. Yeah. We're gonna go up there and then go down t through the Alamo where the battle was and the river walk and I'm going north yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then after that for I got to go to Athens for my little RV training class and well, that's, right. that's why we're going north. yeah 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 and then we're going down to Alamo down south by the ground it's close to McAllen oh, we're having the first what do you call it? It's first, a progressive dinner. But this is the first stop. Yes, appetizers. Appetizers by Terry. Yes. And did Les help? Make the food? No. <laughs> <laughs> but he did He did help clean up the house, though. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> this is a four-course meal. So now yes, we're not. on to our second course. Yes, the salad course. The salad course, which Over is... Over at Linda and Mark's. Linda and Mark's place. It'll be fun. <laughs> and, and there's Miss Linda with our salad. Uh -huh. This is not going to stay up. Oh, yum. <laughs> so we're here with Linda and Mark, and we've had our salad. This is our second part of our four course meal. That's mm -hmm. right. And the salad was wonderful, wasn't it, guys? So good. Yeah, very so good. good. Very good. Very good. In fact, I would like that recipe before I go. Actually, okay. I would too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, it's bad good. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're going to move on to our place for the meat and potatoes. Welcome to our home. Tray. There you go. Pass the plates? Yes, ma'am. Wow, you have real plates. Uh, real plate. Well, oh, four. Real plate. I have yeah. four. No, no, they're real plastic plates, yeah. <laughs> now, the rest of us plates. get the plastic. Oh, really? The plastic. So we get the china? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 exactly right. China. This is close to the challenge you're going to get this rig. Okay. Okay. Isn't that good? Juicy. That looks perfect. Let me show you that. Look Let me show you that. Look at that. Let me show you that. Let me show you that. Oh, what they got in there left and right. Look at that. Wow. They really are. Look at that. That's just perfect done. Perfect done. I've never seen it So we've had our third course. Third course. Now we're going to go take a long <laughs> walk around the park. <laughs> Work off some of this excellent Before food. we go to Kathy and Ron's and have <laughs> dessert. <laughs> dessert. Great idea. Are you serious? We are now here at Ron and Kathy's home. Yep. And what kind of dessert are we having? Chocolate pudding. Millionaire's foodie. dessert. Chocolate pudding. Millionaire's, Millionaire's dessert. dessert. <laughs> and 
It's getting cool, so we have the fire going. I'm still Look at this. So you've just started. Yeah, you just started. I just started. Oh, no, I think I started yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, you know, you can ask for yeah, Jeffrey, absolutely. Right? We absolutely. may have walked off five calories, you know. <laughs> Oh, I, I doubt if we've done you five. just ruined. Well, if we turned left when you wanted to, it would have only been three. Oh, yeah, so y'all act like y'all didn't hear a word I said. Y'all just kept putting Oh, we right heard. Down the road we there. heard. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. Yeah, if, if you're dishing up, I just take it like a sliver. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, a sliver. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Kevin. She shouldn't think about me later on for a snack. She wants to get rid of it first round. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's exactly yeah, right. She loves it, And you did all that walking just she so does. you'd have that yeah. in place. And you think I would be deserving, right? <laughs> we are here. We have had our fourth course of our progressive meal. We had dessert with Ron and Kathy. So now we're all just sitting around the lovely fireplace. And this is the lady that came up with the idea. This is Terry. Hello. And so why did you come up with the progressive meal idea? Well, um, it's something that we did back in um, my home church 20 years ago even. Uh, we would get together in small groups of maybe 15 or 20 and we would go from house to house and have uh, different courses and have little Bible studies or uh, games at each house and it was just really great fellowship. Yeah. So what did you think about it? I thought it was wonderful. It was so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> Less? I think it's excellent. You know, this is kind of our little group that we've come to know and, and love. So I think this is a fine, fine thing. <laughs> Just don't call me late for dinner. It, it was very fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it immensely. Food was excellent. Yeah. And Linda? It was super. It was great. It was fun. And there was way too much dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy cut huge pieces, but it was delicious. So, Mr. Ricky? Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> and Mr. Ron. And I ate salad. <laughs> yeah. And I walked. And, and I walked. Walk. I don't know if this healthy stuff's going to kill me yet. <laughs> uh. Everything I did when I was younger was with the church. But we were in this small group and we were all sitting there. We had our feet up like this and I had tennis shoes on. And, and I'm like, what is that smell? And then my feet got hot and I. And I picked it up and I could just lay, it was just melting off <laughs> my feet. So you have to be careful how close you put your feet to the fire, like this. Yeah, I was kind of being careful how far I'm What an awesome place. time we had last night. And I wanted to say thank you to Ron and Kathy and Terry and Les and Linda and Mark for the great food and just the good fellowship that we had. It's always fun to sit around the campfire with friends. So I wanted to end this video and say oh, like and subscribe. <laughs> We're soaring together. Thanks.